four. Right now at six, an early morning water outage triggered a boil water advisory. It is impacting a huge section of Northeast DC tonight. News 4's Mauricio Casillas explains exactly who needs to boil their water and when service could be restored. Plus, the transition to President Trump's administration is off to a rocky start as some of the names for the biggest cabinet posts may face an uphill battle to confirmation. We're live on Capitol Hill with the latest scandal affecting the president-elect's pick for defense secretary. And martial law no more. The protests that erupted in South Korea after a declaration from that country's president and where things stand tonight. News 4 at 6 starts now. Three, two, one. There you go. Hey! It is lit on the lawn near the U.S. Capitol tonight. The Capitol Christmas tree is now properly lit for all to see as the kickoff to the holiday season at the Capitol. As we welcome you to News 4 at 6, I'm Hun Yang. It's a sight to behold. I'm Jim Anley. Everybody looked bundled up at that tree lighting today. And rightfully so. It is cold out there, folks. Another live look outside tonight where it certainly is feeling like the Christmas season, too. And this cold weather could be here to stay. Storm Team 4 meteorologist Amelia Draper joins us now with just how cold it will be tonight. Hi, Amelia. Hey, Ann and Jim. Yeah, temperatures tonight falling into the 20s for overnight lows. You add in a little bit of wind. You're watching News 4 at 6. High drama at the Prince George's County Council meeting today. The council met to pick its next chair, but no one received enough votes to win the seat. So the current chair will stay in the seat for now. Council members acknowledge there's tension and there could be another vote for the chair position in the future. News Force Darcy Spencer was there and has our report. After three separate votes, the Prince George's County Council failed to agree on a new leader at their annual meeting to pick a Moody News 4. And we've got an update just in the last few minutes. Our Food for Families campaign has received even more donations from our generous viewers on this Giving Tuesday. Wow. We've now uh, totaled up to more than $4,500 raised today alone. That's going to do it for News 4 at 6. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt is heading your way next. Here's a look at what we're working on tonight. The strange story of how a woman avoided authorities and stowed away on a plane to Paris. Plus, protecting packages from porch pirates. What you need to know after a big Cyber Monday when Nightly News starts in 60 seconds. We'll see you at 11. Have a great night.